the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology in Zurich taught an autonomous robotic excavator, HEAP, to build walls using large rocks. In the experiment, the excavator constructed a 20-foot-high, 213-foot-long barrier without human intervention. Equipped with various sensors and built-in AI, the excavator can autonomously scan its surroundings, creating a 3D map of the construction site. During the scan, it also seeks out materials for building walls. The building process works like this. The excavator picks up located boulders, scans them, estimates their weight, and calculates the best placement. Larger stones form the base, while smaller ones stack on top. Developers highlighted that the autonomous excavator can use the created map for preparatory tasks such as leveling parts of the landscape or digging a trench. Polish company Sunreef Yachts has launched the first model of the green Sunreef 80 Power Eco Series using innovative eco technologies for travel. The standout feature is the integrated solar panels on the hull and superstructure that covers about 2,152 square feet, enabling the boat to cruise at low speeds solely using solar power. The flexible design of these panels allows for installation anywhere on the boat. Apart from solar energy, the catamaran can also harness wind power. It's equipped with multiple sails and a hydro generation system that produces eco-friendly electricity. Its main propulsion comes from two electric motors, powered by a 300 kilowatt battery pack. Additionally, there are two diesel generators on board for unexpected situations, capable of supplying power to the electric motors. International design company Hassel, together with engineers from Eckersley O'Callaghan, unveiled plans for the first Martian settlement. The idea is to have a two-layered structure, an outer and an inner shell. The outer part will be built by autonomous robots using 3D printing technology, using Martian soil as the building material. The primary role of the outer dome, which resembles a cave, is to shield the main capsules from solar radiation and other external elements. As for the inner shell, it will be brought by the first exploration team and will consist of inflatable modules containing everything needed for life and work on the Red Planet. The initial Martian settlement is expected to consist of six such capsules, interconnected and protected by a sturdy outer shell made from Martian soil. NASA aims to send the first humans to Mars by the mid-2030s. The Dell Concept Luna is a prototype of a modular laptop that can be completely disassembled and reassembled in just one minute, all without any special tools, literally with just your hands. The main idea behind this design is to make repairing and servicing the device easier at home. Because it's a modular laptop, its parts can be easily swapped in case of damage or if an upgrade is needed. To start disassembly, you need to insert a pin or wire into the safety lock, which allows removing the keyboard and then proceed to fully dismantle the device. Specifically, users will be able to disassemble and replace the speakers, battery, cooling system, motherboard, and even the display on their own. Currently, the company is still testing the device, so it's unclear when such a laptop will be available for purchase. The American Black Hawk helicopter completed its first unmanned flight handled by Sikorsky Matrix system. The primary goal behind creating an autonomous helicopter is performing risky tasks without endangering pilots' lives. The developer conducted initial test flights of the unmanned helicopter in Arizona. During the demonstration flights, pilots activated the Matrix system, transferring full control of the aircraft to the onboard computer. Subsequently, the helicopter autonomously completed a task to replenish medical supplies for a simulated army and performed a combined mission delivering cargo and evacuating wounded individuals from a particularly hazardous area. Additionally, during the flight, the helicopter's route was forcibly changed, mimicking a scenario where a threat needed to be neutralized near the military base's location. 
As of right now, the company is still working on implementing autonomous technology, expanding the system with new scenarios. Google has announced the launch of an innovative geothermal power plant in Nevada. This plant aims to power massive data centers located nearby using clean energy. This method of harnessing green energy is borrowed from the oil and gas industry. Here's how it works. Two horizontal walls positioned one above the other are drilled about 8,000 feet deep. Then, by injecting water into the lower well under high pressure, microcracks are created in the Earth's crust. As the liquid passes through the soil layer, it heats up to 376 degrees Fahrenheit due to the Earth's warmth and rises up through the upper well. This process produces steam, which spins a turbine to generate electrical power. This geothermal power plant has a capacity of 3.5 megawatts. According to company representatives, if the experiment is successful, similar facilities will gradually emerge in other states. MTT-136 is an electric vehicle created by inventor Yvonne Martel. It resembles a cross between a snowmobile, a dog sled and a miniature tank from World War II. But despite its appearance, the device has a wide range of uses. This all-terrain vehicle is designed to transport various goods and passengers. It's adaptable for attaching different types of equipment and trailers. Thanks to its broad track, the electric sled can easily navigate snow, mud, grass and small streams. They can also be used for pulling stuck vehicles, transporting fallen logs or clearing snow. The vehicle's construction is quite simple. An aluminium box houses the batteries and an electric motor, along with a wide track and handlebars. Depending on the battery type, the sled's range varies from 28 to 130 miles. Charging time ranges from 15 minutes to 8 hours. Additionally, the vehicle has a built-in socket where you can plug in power tools, lighting devices or charge gadgets. A person with Parkinson's disease can now walk about 4 miles thanks to an innovative implant developed by scientists from the Swiss Federal Institute of Technology. The device consists of two main parts, motion sensors attached to the legs and an electronic simulator integrated into the lower back area. When the person tries to walk, the motion sensors send a signal to the implant which, through electrical impulses, activates parts of the spinal cord responsible for movement. According to the patient it was tested on, he was able to walk normally just a few weeks after the stimulator was implanted. The implant still needs to undergo full clinical trials. However, the development team is already confident that their technology could offer a completely new approach to treating movement deficits in people with Parkinson's disease. American company Anduril has introduced a unique AI-based reusable interceptor drone called Roadrunner. According to the developers, this drone will have three times the payload capacity and maneuverability compared to existing models. Thanks to its integrated AI, it can autonomously navigate to detect threats such as missiles or other airborne targets. During patrol, the drone can wait on the ground and swiftly attack targets once they're airborne. The manufacturer claims the drone can engage supersonic objects. It takes off and lands vertically and, upon completion of its mission, returns to base if undamaged, ready for a new task after refueling. One operator can control multiple drones simultaneously. The cost of one interceptor is estimated at several hundred thousand dollars. Skeezy, an off-road vehicle for skiers designed by engineer Jim Medgement, aims to solve the tiring process of going uphill or on flat terrain, making the way for the fun downhill skiing all skiers love. This device consists of a body housing a 10.5 horsepower engine, a wide track and a handlebar with control buttons. Its simple design allows for easy repairs even in remote areas, crucial for those who love skiing in secluded slopes. It weighs 115 pounds and reaches speeds of up to 25 miles per hour. When stored or transported, the handlebar folds down, reducing its size to that of a regular vacuum cleaner. 
According to the developer, the device will cost £2,500. Elimin, an intelligent pedestrian zone designed to solve road safety issues. The system tracks pedestrians planning to cross the road using infrared posts. Once someone passes the line of these posts, the system immediately signals drivers with a warning light and a voice alert. Similarly, pedestrians can activate the system themselves via a touch panel. If someone ends up on the road without activating Elemin beforehand, the system will still detect them through cameras and alert drivers. Adding bright lighting for the pedestrian area and easy installation on any road makes it the best way to protect both pedestrians and drivers from accidents. Sustainable Marine has developed a new version of their tidal energy platform, PLAT-I. This platform can generate up to 420 kilowatts of electricity using six sea turbines, which is twice the power of the first-generation platform initially tested in Scotland. It works quite simply. Water from these strong currents flows into the turbine, spinning the screws that generate electricity. The platform is anchored to the ocean floor with a mechanism that allows it to pivot with changes in water direction, maintaining maximum production efficiency. Additionally, the turbine's power can be adjusted based on the grid's demand. Soon, PLAT-I will contribute up to 9 megawatts to Nova Scotia's power grid, cutting greenhouse gas emissions by 17,000 tonnes per year and powering around 3,000 homes in the province. A unique amphibious robot called Velox can swim like a ray, crawl like a centipede, glide through water like a squid, and slide like a snake. It uses flexible plate-like limbs that twist in different planes, giving it boundless freedom of movement. This approach provides the robot with unprecedented versatility to travel across various environments within a single mission. For instance, in water, its ability to instantly change direction and make swift turns makes it perfect for tasks like exploring coral reefs or hunting for dragonfish, where quick movement among and around objects is necessary. Overall, Velox is highly versatile. It can undertake missions underwater, on the beach, explore polar ice fields, and even conduct rescue operations. DJI, a well-known company, has unveiled a new generation of mini-drones that are sure to amaze you. The Mini Pro 4 is a quadcopter with updated omnidirectional vision and video recording systems. Imagine this small quadcopter with powerful professional features weighing around 249 grams. It boasts a maximum flight time of 45 minutes at a height of 4,000 meters. To detect obstacles, the Mini Drone utilizes an omnidirectional binocular vision system complemented by a 3D infrared sensor. Its camera is impressive too, featuring a main 48 megapixel 1 to 1.3 inch sensor. The digital system allows maximum video transmission distance of up to 20 kilometers, letting you explore the farthest corners of your surroundings. The quadcopter is priced at $759. The Lifecraft system is a unique evacuation system from ships. Lifecraft consists of four self-propelled lifeboats, each capable of carrying 203 people along with a storage and launch unit either on deck or integrated into the ship's side. During a disaster, the system allows a total of 812 passengers and crew to quickly leave the ship. All they need to do is descend from the deck through an evacuation chute to a safe raft that unfolds in case of emergency. Each lifeboat is propelled by four electric motors placed at each corner, swiftly navigating away from the danger zone. Think of Lifecraft as a massive inflatable raft, ensuring the safety of many lives. We all know about landmines, but few know how they're cleared. The Breacher Vehicle M1150 is a military setup resembling a tank that is used for clearing landmines. Here's how it works. 
A rocket launches a hose with explosive material forward, landing in an area suspected of having landmines. Then the operator triggers the explosion of the hose, which sets off all the explosive devices in that area. As a result of one such detonation, a corridor up to 8 meters wide and 100 meters long is created in the minefield. Both infantry and armored vehicles can move through this cleared path. The whole process takes just a few minutes, providing reliable protection for soldiers and equipment. The French startup Enchanted Tools aims to change people's perceptions of robots. To achieve this, engineers have created Meroki, an adorable robot character resembling a space fox. This cute robot aims to alleviate users' fear of the uncanny valley as it looks more like an animated character than a typical robot. Moreover, it has the ability to react to its surroundings and even wiggle its ears when called. But it's not just about cuteness. Meroki is highly functional too. It can autonomously navigate, even in unfamiliar spaces, manipulate objects, and communicate with users, serving as a guide and providing necessary information. Ultimately, Meraki could be utilized in the medical sector, hospitality industry, airports, and various other fields of work. The folding staircase is a compact foldable staircase with a unique design. Designed using a modular system, this staircase offers flexibility to meet individual needs and is easy to assemble. Just one person, without any special training, can put it together. The folding staircase can serve as a sturdy stairway when unfolded, and when folded, becomes an interesting design addition. Additionally, the developer offers options such as automatic or spring-loaded mechanisms, and even special finishes for outdoor use, catering to various design preferences. The Daymac Combat e-bike is both an electric motorcycle and a snowmobile. This all-terrain two-wheel motorcycle reaches a top speed of 44 miles per hour and can easily transform into a snowmobile with a few toolboxes and about an hour's effort. The wheels just need to be removed and replaced with front skis and tracks. The manufacturer claims that with a detachable 4.8 kilowatt hour battery, it can travel 50 miles without recharging and fully charge in 3.5 hours. Currently in development, the Daymac Combat is set to begin production soon. The first 100 units will be sold for $14,000 each. Blue Condor might just be one of the most impactful aviation startups aiming to explore the effects of hydrogen fuel on the atmosphere. As part of the Blue Condor project, the developers have crafted two Arcus gliders. One is equipped with a hydrogen engine, while the other operates on internal combustion, allowing a comparison of contrails emitted at high altitudes. The project's creators hope to soon discover the perfect fuel that won't harm the Earth's atmosphere with the help of the Arcus J glider. The aircraft is highly unique within the aviation world. With a wingspan of 65 feet, it boasts a hydrogen engine on its roof, reaching altitudes of up to 33,000 feet. This currently stands as a record for gliders, and we're hopeful that the tests will bring valuable insights. Which invention, in your opinion, deserves the most attention? Share your thoughts in the comments and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. There's plenty more exciting information from the world of science and technology coming your way.